once again guys welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today we will talk, discuss about sql server max degree parallelism okay so before starting the session i would request each and everyone who ever newly join on channel please like to subscribe and i have seen uh, people are watching but not subscribed yet please please do subscribe okay just for a motivation nothing else okay and please visit the channel playlist i i'm saying in every video please go to channel playlist and visit the SQL Server DBA, you will definitely get some kind of help. If you are getting help, please do subscribe and like. Okay, so let me start today's session. So today's session is it's all about match degree parallelism. Okay, so I have created a one doc. Based on this document, I can explain a little bit idea about max degree parallelism. So first thing is importance. You know to importance max degree of max degree of parallelism. Why we are using actually. So if you can focus on those li these lines, okay. So the main idea of parallelism is splitting a main task into a smaller task, running simultaneously with each task accomplished part of the jobs, then assigning these tasks to a number of processor and finally combining the, you know, the partial result into a one final result. So as we all know, whenever the SQL Server engine getting a, any uh, client request, so normally it's running in a single thread. Okay, when you are hitting any select query, any update query, it will run in a single thread. Okay, but if the max degree parallelism is enabled, okay, you have set the max degree parallelism. So what it will do? It will assign a task for the same process. Okay, so let's say you have hit hitted a query. And what internally SQL Server engine will do if query is a loaded query, some heavy query, okay. So it will create a child process for that particular task. So, so it will create a number of child, whatever the depends on the you know uh, uh, setup parameter setup. It will create a child process, and all the child process once it's completed, then it will uh, accumulate the resource, uh, the uh, the result the output, and it will send to send back to the users. Okay, so this is the uh, you know uh, uh, functionality why we are using the max degree parallelism. Okay, so next is how does the max degree work in SQL Server? So we'll understand in this <coughs> based on these two examples. Okay, as I told you, when SQL Server gets any result from a client application and it compiles and prepares the quickest execution plan within the minimal cost of server assets. Okay. The for instance, we have two situation with a single thread and multi thread. So either we can go with a single thread or multi thread. So we'll we'll see what are the benefits if we a query running in a single thread and multi thread. Okay. So if you go down, I have taken a two example. In example one, in a first case, the parameter value is set to one, which means max degree parallelism is set to one, and SQL Server execute the execution utilization in a single logic CPU. It will use one CPU, single logical CPU it will use because you have, you have set the parameter one and completing the operation or returning a query result. So if you set the max drop is one, so it will use the one single logical CPU, okay? And it will uh, complete the result and it will send back to the user. In the second case, you can set a more than one. In the second case, the max degree parallelism parameter value is set higher than one. Okay, so whatever depends on the your logical CPU, you can set it. So you can check the server CPU and you can set it based on that capability. Here you can see the zero stand for SQL Server choose the max number of. CPU. So by default setting is for SQL Server parallelism. It's an interview question also. It can ask like you know what is the default setting for max degree parallelism. So it's a zero. So zero means whatever the SQL Server engine will feel, they can utilize whatever the CPU present on the particular uh, server, they can utilize, okay. So that means uh, it's a default setting is zero. So simple state for what answer is, the default setting of max parallelism is zero, okay. Now I will focus on these statements, okay. Then I will see the based on the graphical diagram, okay. What are the difference? So greater than one value will allow using the maximum CPUs as defined with the parameter to execute the request as needed. You can see that this highlighted point here is some logical things we can 
I have highlighted. So, for example, the SQL Server Max Tree Parallelism parameter is set to 5. Let us say a particular instance you have set the Max Tree Parallelism 5. Okay. Now, and the query execution required 3 only. Then the query will be distributed in a 3 execution pool, execution only. So, what is what these line is saying actually? Uh, Let us say you have set the max parallelism is 5, okay. but if any query you are executing, that query needs only the 3. So, it will not touch all the 5, it will touch only 3, remaining 2 is still, is, uh, you know, uh, uh, it is there in available. Okay. If you can see here in this diagram, in the first case, what was the first example in a single. So, max parallelism you have set 1, so single thread. So, it will use one CPU and it will give the query result. Okay. If you see here the n number of logicals, I have I have taken the max degree is 5. So, if any request will come, so let us say a request come and that request need only 3 CPU. So, it will take only 3, it will not distribute on all 5, it will take only 3. If it is required more than 3, then it will touch. Okay. And if it is required 7 CPU, on that case also it will not, because we, we have set in 5, right? So, it will distribute the load on all 5 only. It will create a load on all 5 only, okay? And it will give the result. So, this is the, you know, um, logical things you need to understand actually. So, what it is saying here in a below line, for the SQL Server request execution, a processes, uh, processor will cal circulate the execution with multiple logical CPUs as defined in the parameter. As I said, any request is coming, it will de, uh, you know circulate the uh, uh, process uh, as defined in the parameter. Whatever the parameter you have defined, it will it will circulate. The CPU cost required by by the query each dispersed execution will have the equivalent period to finish the task. So each child process have equivalent time to you know uh, finish the task if in some case in any threads complete either earlier than the execution executed time then that threads will hold up till the last one to complete the undertaking understand this process see if any query is hitting and that query requires the three cpu in a second example so if you can see all the cpu so let's assume any thread completed earlier let's say the third one completed now it's whatever the task assigned for this it's completed so it's not like they will give the result it will wait to complete remaining two once the all those two completed then at the end they will circulate uh, accumulate the results and they will pass the query result understand this point this is the logical thing actually how the max tree parallelism is working actually okay so hope you got the point how the setting and all you all aware go to uh, uh, instant setting and you can set it right e even you can use the tsql command and you can set it i don't want to cover on those things i just want to explain you the internal logical th things how it's working actually okay so based on these two examples hope you got the point what i'm trying to say and how it's working actually uh, what are the benefits of magnifying people lots a lo lot of people have confused how what is the max zero parallelism max zero parallelism is nothing just uh, you know the process is assigning a child process just in a layman answer you can say like that if any query is coming to sql server engine okay that particular process assigning a particular uh, you know and number of tasks as per the defined of parameter whatever the max tree parallelism you have set on a particular instance they will define a, a number of threads to child process and they are waiting for the results and at the end they are uh, they are passing the query result okay once the all the third completed so hope you got the point what max tree parallelism you can do the more analysis on this if you uh, want to see the some blogs also available on uh, internet you can go with that uh, and you can do the testing on your uh, lab in lab environment okay well that's it for today we'll meet you soon till then bye bye thank you